and friends. I am here in my kitchen to show you this project. I'm going to start. I have a compost kit here um, that was donated to the garden by Olivia's mom, Miss Kelly. And um, it's just kind of been waiting until we got to our soil studies unit. So now that we are in our couple of weeks where we're learning about soil and what happens to um, plants and leaves as they fall down to the ground and decompose and all the different decomposers that make that action happen, I thought it was a perfect time to start some composting. So I have these two really neat little compost things. They're clear so we'll be able to observe everything that's going on in the compost bin. So some things that we can compost are fruit that's gone bad. So I've got this tomato here. Um, if you're doing kitchen waste for your compost, you usually want to kind of break it up so it's small because that helps it break down. And then other things that we frequently can compost are apple cores. So I'm going to cut up my apple core into smaller pieces so it'll break down more easily. Did you ever cut an apple core to see that there's a star in the middle? Is that so cool? Okay, so I've got a tomato and an apple in there, some pieces of bread in there. And then right here you see these greens on my counter. I um, had really fresh carrots and they have the greens on them. And you can use greens in some things, like if you make your own like chicken stock or something, you can use the greens in there to add some fresh flavor. But I am not, um, I don't have any bones right now to make stock. So I'm going to add these greens to my compost and let them break down here. And then the other thing, if you think about what I've put in here now, I've put in really fresh greens and I've put in a tomato, which is kind of wet and mushy, and an apple core, which was also kind of wet and mushy. So everything that's in here so far is pretty wet. So when you're making compost, you have wet components and you have dry components. So I went and got a container with some dried leaves and some soil. So I'm gonna cut that in here. And then I think I'm gonna take something, I don't know if I want a spoon or a fork, let's see what I can find. Here's a fork, I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna kinda mix it up a little bit. And I just wonder what's gonna happen. So that soil hopefully has some of the bacteria that are the decomposers that help things break down. We'll check on this regularly. I might do, um, maybe I'll do like a couple of minutes of a compost pan every day this week so we can sort of watch things um, start to break down and see what's happening in there. Right. Yeah. One of the ideas behind having two different containers you could put certain items in one container and certain items in another container and see which broke down faster. So I thought what I would do is I would start with this container and kind of put a good mix of things and ask you what your ideas are for what to put in the next container. So if you have thoughts as to what you'd like to see me compost, we could put in banana peels, we could put in um, only paper, we could try um, just leaves and see what happens. So let me know what your ideas are and then we can um, use that compost container too. So here's our compost can. Let's see if we can get a good close up of what's in there. So we see it's kind of a good mix of green and brown. And look at this, now that the lid's on, I can sort of just shake it up. And there is our compost start off for the first week of December. Thanks, garden friends.